tried out the inverter and it is working well with a 5 amp drill. Multimeter says the inverter draws 0. 41 amps when powered on with no load. Hopefully it continues to be a long lasting unit. I am surprised that the package cushioning only covered the two end pieces, no additional protective packing material. The A, C and control end had been dented into the case a significant amount, plus a mounting brace for the internal PC board had one of its bolts sheared off. I took the unit apart and examined the insides, all seemed fine. I live on my sailboat in Central America, and it's not reasonable to obtain, ship parts down here, so I occasionally have parts shipped to transit places in the US, so I can hand carry them on my return. In most cases, I don't have enough time to wait for an RMA and return item. I am happy this worked out. My last inverter died after a direct lightning strike to my boat last summer. I really needed to get a C power going again. Not sure yet about quiescent draw, but I am very happy about how the fans are managed. My previous ones would turn the fans on during my refrigerator startup, and stay on for a minute or so, but this unit's fan only turn on when it's hot, I imagine, as it takes a minute or so with a 100 amp load before the fan turns on, but not at all with the small refrigerator load. Thanks. I purchased this inverter to use along with a 100 amp hour battery and 600 W of solar panels. It performed extremely well in a very hot and humid climate. It easily handled a mini fridge, 120 volts LED light bulb, standard fixture bulb, on a dimmer switch and charging 18 volts power tool batteries. Under heavy load when in direct sunlight the fans would kick on. I was then careful to keep in in shadow, shade and although the fans would run off and on for a few minutes during the hottest part of the day it never seemed to be struggling. I've connected the 2000W Renogy inverter to two HQST 12V 100A LifePO4 batteries using the supplied cables and a pair of 4 grams battery cables to parallel the batteries. I am able to separately run a 1350W microwave and an 800W toaster oven. I tried to test the AC on high and it didn't indicate any problems but I don't think the AC compressor came on. Only the fan, because it was 37 degrees outside. It'll provide an update if anything changes after I get it fully installed and take it camping this summer. This is the key to my off-grid system. It works just like it should and with little to no noise. Even when the fan kicks on, rarely, it not loud at all. This inverter powered our RV65 WeBoost cell amp, Nomad Internet 4G router, 24 inches Acer monitor, two Acer Chromebooks, Wally satellite TV receiver, USB-C wall cubes, and our celery juicer this summer while camp hosting in the National Forest at 9, 200 ASL. I installed the inverter close to our LifePO4 battery pair and added two dedicated outlets inside the RV that we plugged into or used extension outlets as needed. Although it powered our juicer without issue, it would not be able to run our 900 watt smoothie maker for obvious reason that would have required more power. If I had to do it again I would have installed the 2000 watt version as our LifePO4 battery pair would have been able to handle the additional load so we didn't have to run our generator for NutriBullet and microwave. Click link in description for more reviews.